RC today, guys. It's Sunday service time, so I'm not going to have any RC stuff in this video. I'm just going to be sharing the Word of God, all right? Guys, if you're new to the channel and you don't like this, don't unsubscribe. You just simply don't have to watch it, but I encourage everybody to watch, man, because I share what I share because I had faith before. Y'all know what faith is? Faith is believing without sin. My faith is so strong now. Why? Because I saw with my own two eyes. That's why I share on my YouTube channel what I do, guys, because I know it's, this is real. I know God is real. I know Jesus is real. And I know 110% that I got the Holy Spirit all inside and filling me up. That's why I'm so full of joy, man, because I got the Holy Spirit, son. But do I get depressed? Do I get defeated? Do I get beaten and broken and let myself get down? Yes, I do, because I'm a human being, son. I forget that I don't need to feel like that because I got the fruit of the Spirit inside of me, which is nine wonderful things, all right? Long-suffering, peace, love, joy, kindness, gentleness, meekness. All right, all these good things are filled inside of your spirit by the simple acceptance of Jesus Christ into your heart. That, my friends, is what being born again is all about, all right? You accept Jesus into your heart and you believe and you trust in him whether you did anything with that spiritual gift your whole entire life, all right? Say you accepted Jesus Christ into your heart. Now you believe that Christ died on the cross and rose the third day, all right, and, and is at the right hand on the throne with God in heaven. If you believe that in your heart, you are saved, man. You are saved. And if you do nothing with it your whole entire life, say you just go about your living your life, you never praised God, you didn't pray, but you believed in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord, then you are saved. Simple as that. Because it is not by our good works that we get to heaven. It is by our great, by God's wonderful free gift of grace. By grace and faith, we are saved, guys. Not by our good works. Not by being the best, most wonderful person that you think you can be. Because we all fall short of the glory of the Lord, Romans 3.23 tells us, y'all. So I'm here today to share with you guys that we're in a spiritual fight, all right? We are in a spiritual warfare, and I'm here as a warrior of God to fight the good fight and share the truth, all right? Whether it's deemed as hate or whatever, I'm here to share, baby. Woo, yes, praise the Lord for this time that I'm so fired up and filled full of the Spirit to deliver some truth for you guys today. So let's get it on! All right, y'all, the importance of being saved. Man, not only is it, not only will it change your whole entire life, but it is awesome, okay? It is wonderful to know that you will be in heaven with God and not burning in hell for eternity, all right? By the simple acceptance of Christ Jesus into your heart and believing that the Son, that the Son of God walked this earth in the flesh, son, all right? But it's better that Jesus was crucified on the cross. Why is it better, guys? Because Jesus Christ was limited on earth, y'all. But now that he's died and, 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 has, and still lives again today and is at the right hand throne, he sent back that comforter, that redeemer, that counselor to be with me, to be with you, to be with each and every person in the whole entire universe, y'all. All right, Mr. Omnipotent Lord. All right, yes. The Lord is within each and every one of us, man. And until you learn how to renew your mind and activate that spirit your, and, and put your faith to work, Lord, guys, then you're not going to see the Lord's abundance and blessings that he has for your life, all right? Man, yes, just like I said, you can walk around and do nothing for the Lord your whole entire life, but just be saved and go to heaven. Yes, you can do that. But if you work your faith, son, oh man, 
the blessings that the Lord has for you is unimaginable, all right? Picture a five-gallon bucket full of money, and there's so much money in it, it's overflowing, and it just don't stop. That's God's blessings, man. But God's blessings are so much more valuable than a piece of paper that is the root of all evil, son. That's right. The Lord's blessings are powerful, mighty, and of worth, all right? And they are given to us in seasons in our lives when times are right or when we are trying hard to do something for ourselves and we're praying and we're praying and we're trusting and we're keeping our faith and all of a sudden, bam, God turns that bucket over on us, son, and we become blessed, all right? But know this, if you're walking and you're talking and you're seeing and you're touching and you're feeling and you're hearing, you are blessed, son. You are blessed by the Most High because there are so many people in this world that are in way worse shape than me and you guys, all right? Those are the people we need to pray for. And speaking of this world, this world is muffed up. This world is sick right now, guys. This world is in a great turning away, a falling away from the Lord, all right? Don't be a part of the falling away. Be a part of the catching away with the Lord, all right? That's what you want to be a part of. You don't want to be a part of the destruction and the evil in this world, guys, because the prince of power is in control of this world, and God has given him the authority over all. All right, and it's up for it's up to you and it's up to me to stomp all over Satan and trample him down and beat him up every single day. Don't let him beat you up because his job is to kill, steal, and destroy your joy every single day. And if you don't know Jesus Christ and you don't have Jesus in your life, this is what Satan does. He crosses his arms and takes a couple steps back and lets you do what you do and lets you fail, all right? And he's laughing at you the whole entire time. But I'm telling you guys, we can kick that bastard to the side and we can accept the king, all right? Kick the prince, accept the king, Jesus, y'all, because King Jesus is in the business to bless, all right? Bless and heal and comfort and redeem. So that's why I want to share with you guys, all right? So what I want to start off with is we're going to talk about, uh, we're going to talk about this Prince of Power, all right? I got to go get some water real quick because I'm getting a bit parched. All right, y'all, we're going to be taking a look at Ephesians 2.2. 2. I want to break it down for you just a little bit. Ephesians 2.2 2 says, and you were dead. And the trespasses and sins in which you once walked, following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. All right. So there is proof right there. God has given the authority and power to Satan. All right. And Luke or uh, John 5, 19 uh, I'm sorry, Luke 4, 6 tells us that too. Luke, Luke 4, 6 says, And Satan said to him, the devil said to Jesus, To you I will give all this authority and their glory, for it has been delivered to me, and I give it to whom I will. Right there. God has given Satan the power of the world. Why? I don't know why. You know, maybe to exercise our free will, guys, our free will gives us a choice. All right. We got two choices, good or evil. There's no in between. You either accept God and you serve Jesus or you don't accept God and you accept Satan and you serve Satan. Because if you're not for Jesus, you're for Satan, whether you know it or not. Okay. Whether you want to believe it or not, whether you believe in Satan or not. And Satan will leave you alone if you uh, don't accept Christ Jesus and you're just walking this earth thinking you can do everything on your own. All right. Satan loves that. He loves those people because he knows those spirits and those souls are lost. They're not going to be God's. They're going to be his in hell for eternity. 
No, sir. I don't want you guys going to hell. I don't want anybody going to hell and being with this low life piece of trash, Satan. All right. He is a piece of garbage. You know, he was a beautiful creation with instruments within by God. But he was he thought he could be better than God. All right. So God just kicked him on out of heaven and threw him down with his 200 angels, too. All right. That's why we have hell. Hell is for Satan and his angels. All right. His demons. That's what that's what hell is for. And I don't want you guys going there. All right. So that's why I share the love of the Lord. All right. The reason Satan is called a prince rather than a king is because there's only one king, son. And that's King Jesus Christ. All right, y'all. So that's going to be it for today's Sunday service time. I'm going to say a little prayer and get you guys on out of here. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you right now, Lord, and I just ask that you send everybody out that listened today with hope and the desire for your son, God. Dear Heavenly Father, if they don't know you, give them the desire to want to get to know you, Lord so that they can be filled up with the abundance of your blessings that you so freely and gracefully offer. I love you and praise you, God, and I'm asking that everybody has a super blessed week. Watch over their children. Let them have safe trips to and from work, Lord. Let them have fun this week, God. And above all things, dear Heavenly Father, keep them safe in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Y'all have a blessed one. I will see you on the next one. Eastside RC is out.